I was very fortunate and blessed, win or loss, to come out of those stands and to see my parents in the stands to give, give me a hug. Um, so I want to thank my parents for all your guys' support through my college and coaching career. I also want to thank my grandparents um, for always being there for me as well. They're pretty much on the second scale um, next to my parents as far as coming to all my games. My friends and family, um, we are told we had to have three to five minutes to talk, so I can't thank everyone. But I appreciate everyone coming and for your support throughout my years. Um, for the student athletes, you also may not realize, okay? Obviously, these are memories that I look back, so I want to tell you guys that you could be sitting next to one of your eventual best friends. It could be, end up being your teammate, a manager, a practice player, or even a support staff. Practices were not always faint of the heart, but I look back and realize how much our teammates, how much we had our, each other's back. And I think that's why we were so successful. Um, I can remember as a junior in, col or, yeah, in college, I had a rookie, a freshman. We were in the weight room, and she couldn't quite lift the bar. <laughs> she, it fell on her chest. Um, we're not going to name any names, but, you know, I could have just been a arrogant upperclassman and just been like, okay, you know, go ahead and figure it out yourself, because um, that's happened in the past. But anyway, the point is, is that we have each other's back. Um, even daily quotes that Coach P before every practice, we'd have to say a quote before the game or before practice. If we didn't know that quote, then we'd have to run. We'd get cussed out at. But <laughs> our teammates, they'd whisper it in our ear and say, it's this, it's this, right? So the, the uh, teammates, they always, you guys always have to have your back. And I think that's why it's so special, why we were so successful, is because we didn't care who scored or who took the shot or anything. We just wanted the W at the end of the game. Um, so I really want to thank my, my teammates for always braiding my hair before every game. Um, when I was coaching, people wanted me to braid my hair. And I'm like, I'm trying to look a little bit more professional. Than, than a kid again, a player. Um, so thanks for braiding it. And thank you guys for coming all over the states um, and being here for me. It means a lot. OK, this is a big one, student athletes. You may not see eye to eye with your coaches. But we have to respect them. We have to listen to them. And they have our best interests, our team's best interests as well. You may disagree with them at times, but always respect, have good body language. Even if you think they're wrong, just nod and be like, okay, coach, I got you. <laughs> then you guys can figure it out in the office, okay? If you're not on the same page as them, go to their office and, and talk about it. So you guys are on the same page and there's no differences. They not only help you get better on the court, but they also help you transition into becoming an adult and help you prepare for life after college. Coach P and I had a love-hate relationship. I hated her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I disliked her. <laughs> because of how much she pushed me out of my comfort zone. Ugh, like this right now. On and off the court. She expected so much of me and pushed me to somewhere I never thought I could go. But I love her for doing that. <laughs> So she's helped me become the woman I am today. Coach P helped me get out of my, sh out of my um, shell by placing me in or taking her on public speaking events, um, which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so thanks, Coach. Um, but it just, the point is, is that it, uh, Oh, coach, thank you so much for bringing the kids, uh, my kids, my teammates, and you from, she's at Duke right now coaching, and for her to come here means a lot to me. So thank you so much for bringing everybody and rounding up the troops. Um, student athletes, I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes. Fall in love with the process of becoming great and the results take care of themselves. Okay, I believe in this a lot. Um, so have fun, work hard, work your ass off, and let's get some champ championships. Go green. Thank <laughs> you.